So now we're going to look at some examples of ethanol or alcohol um, as a solvent. Now, ethanol is the base alcohol, so an, al eth an alcohol is any organic compound that means it's made of carbons. And that means it's made of carbons and hydrogens, actually. That has what we call a hydroxyl group, which is an OH in there. So OH equals hydroxyl. Now this particular one there, that's ethanol. Ethanol is essentially the one that we drink. It's the, one, the alcohol we put in beer. Um, and yeah, so that's ethanol. And that's an alcohol. The, we didn't talk about ethanol as a solvent, but generally we're talking about alcohols in general. Alright, so let's have a look at the cosmetics. So basically, we use ethanol for an astringent. Now astringent is something which causes the body part to shrink. So you, you put it in the skin, because you the skin to get tighter and shrink together. So uh, facial toner, I'm not 100% sure what that is. Or aftershave, eh, I'm not 100% sure what that is either. Um, perfumes, we use those perfumes because a lot of things will dissolve in that that won't dissolve in another one. And in another video, we'll talk about why it is so effective in perfumes. And why perfumes smell a bit different when you first put them on compared to slightly later in the day. Um, hair sprays and hair revitalizers. Uh, this, uh, with this beautiful hair, I don't know what a hair revitalizer is. I figured just, you know. Um, it's also useful as a solvent in medicines. Now, medicines are not necessarily what we're thinking of here. We're talking about things that go on the outside of the body. Um, we don't tend to put ethanol in medicine that we're putting inside the body, even when we're self-medicating, which we should not do. So ethanol is used as a solvent, ethanol is used as a solvent for some antiseptics. Okay, so we've got some antiseptics that use water as a solvent. Some use ethanol, some use both, the mixture of the two. Um, personal insect repellents. Um, and this is really important, and we'll get to why they do that so well later on. And iodine. We use it, we dissolve iodine in um, alcohol to make something called tincture of iodine. Now, a tincture is something which is, all tincture means it's something dissolved in alcohol. Um, or in, in particular, ethanol, which is that bad boy. Um, and it's also used in spray in spray on painkillers, so stingos, that sort of stuff. Um, ah, here we go. Now, basically, so this is for um, these guys over here. This is the off the back of that. And you can see there's 70% ethanol, um, and that means... 30% is water. So that's it. Alright, see you later.